Okay, um, so we're dealing with this prison cell and the dungeon master and the sundial with the button and closing the door and apparently I guess another way to look at it would be, I don't know if we're necessarily getting transported. It seems as if it's changing the nature of the door, right? I guess that's kind of what's happening. Resume the timer. Um... <clears throat> Let's take a look at the door. So the door is going from like fasten to, to open. Hmm. <clears throat> and then it becomes fastened when the button is pressed, right? Push button. The cell door is now closed. Look at door. Heavy wooden door with a small window barred. Okay. Open the door. So it only the door only the status of the door only changes. Yeah, Hakai, you asked that before I gave you the full. I gave. You, oh, sorry, no, it wasn't Hakai. It was Materian. Excuse me. Sorry, Hakai. Yeah, yeah. The cat did return. Um, he was gone for about eighteen hours, but then showed up on my sister's back door. He was very filthy and I guess shaken up, but yeah, he was otherwise okay. Um, so he survived the night with the foxes, and he was seen. He was reported to have been seen at least a mile away from the house by a neighbor who was driving past. So apparently, he had quite an adventure. But <laughs> Good that he's back. Where are the sabers? No, it's because you both have, uh, not too many people have this, um, the teal uh, chat, you know, name color. Although here, interestingly enough, on the stream, a guy was showing up as orange, but in chatty, he's showing up as the kind of bluish green aquamarine color, which Materian has. So sorry. I know you were both asking about him yesterday, and then I think Materian asked for the update this morning. Yeah, so apologies there. Apologies. Yeah, in in chatty, uh, Hakai's showing up is the same color as you, Materi. Let me see what it shows up in Deep Pot. Okay, yeah, and then Hakai just changes random colors every line he says in uh, Deep Pot. I don't think, it probably just doesn't have a color specified. All right, what are we doing here? How do we get out of this securely fastened situation? It's securely fastened and we can't unfasten it. Raise the staff, rope the ring. Shake the amulet, shake the staff, shake the door. Can't take it, thus you can't shake it. Read the book, shake the book. I guess I'm in one of the other rooms. The question is, how do we get to the room we want? I tried all of them, right? I think I did. I tried going to all the different rooms. What's going on with the door? It's closed. What? This is this is bizarre. I'm I'm getting frustrated with this. I'm really getting frustrated. It's not even following the same rules now. I'm getting frustrated with this. You notice the cell door is now closed, but I can still open it, right? Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah. So I don't know. I think I tried to. I tried. You know, travel like going through all of the different rooms, and maybe there's like a nine. <laughs> we said. Uh, there is no such setting. If you wish, he replies. It's pointing to one. Maybe I need to like insert the key into the door and then I have to enter the cell first. I can't, I still can't do it. You're gonna say I have to enter the cell first even though I'm in the fucking cell. God damn it. This is really pissing me off. The, the button sort of simultaneously seems to both close the door as well as transport me, right? Yeah. So I'm around there, but I'm just not in the other area I need to be. I need a bronze door for one of these rooms. All are, all are identical save one, but I haven't been able to get to, I, I think I tried every one. I think I've tried every one. So why aren't we transforming it at one? Maybe because that is one already. doing this again. I think I, I did this already, but I'm just confirming again. Can I set it to like between? No verb in that sense. So I, I guess we're already on one, so I don't know. Is there a zero setting? I can't turn that? Oh, sorry, I'm at the dial. No such setting. All right, maybe I'm missing something else. Maybe there's another mechanic here we have to look at. Roughly hewn stone. In the center. See, this is the, this is the crappy thing. When you examine the sundial, it make, didn't make any reference to the button. You could only see the button by looking at the parapet, not on the actual sundial where the button fucking is. Terrible. Just the numbers one through eight. See, it would be great if there was a way to like communicate with him around, but he can't hear you. Hmm. Oh, but can we see him from here? He's not, no, he's not here. See, I thought we'd be around the ring of fire and then we could see him off in the distance. Yeah. So we are around the pit. We are, I think we are going around the rooms. I mean, or around the, yeah, to the different rooms. Remember room eight, there was a fierce wind, why? I don't know why we can't do that anymore. So the, the, the trick seems to be we have to find some way to unfasten the door. But God knows how to do that. We're still looking for this bronze door. Um, 
I can't put the key in the door. <sighs> Are we dead here? We're in a bare prison cell. Wooden door securely fastened. There is a window, but I can't climb in window. He doesn't know the word window. You don't know the word smoke or flames. You only know door and cell, or just cell door. Can we look under the door? There's nothing but dust there. Hmm. Look behind the door. There's nothing behind the cell door, really? Look indoor. You don't know how to look inside a cell door. Break door with stuff. Hmm. The door is securely fastened. What does that mean? How do you fasten a door? It's locked, right? Fuck. Really not taking this at all. I get that seven of the rooms are identical, but why can't we get to the eighth one? We've tried all eight, right? So there's gotta be something, maybe it's gotta be like a code. Do we know any numbers here? Were we ever given any numbers? Maybe the dial has to be, it's like a combination, you know? Maybe for it to work, you have to go to like, maybe it's gotta be on like three different settings and then you push the button or something like that. 776, 948 maybe? Maybe. And it didn't do anything. Um, do you eventually die? Let me just see. Is there like a move limit? I don't know. I don't know if the torch ever burns out. You don't get eaten by grues. Can you just go to unlimited time? Apparently. Uh. <laughs> Can we say Frat's Osmu? Once we move. Nothing happens, fuck. So there was a fierce room, maybe, you know, I'm gonna try to go back to see if we can get access to the room eight from the scenic vista. Um, Yeah, we need to wait until it hits, uh, was it one? I think it was two. Okay, touch table. Oh, I came here without any sort of anything. Okay, <laughs> I need the torch. Small chamber, yeah, so it's not a cell at all, roommate. Uh, it's chiseled the number eight. The only apparent exit to the E seems to be a blur and a loud whirring sound resounds through the rock. So maybe we need to make some, make that sound. Uh, we'll just do a save here just for room eight. Touch number, or eight. Nothing special about it. Fierce wind. Hmm. Man, I don't know, I don't know. There's no way we can get him to go there, right? He doesn't want to go in the cell.
can't push things to that. Thanks. Maybe I have to put something on the button. Let's see, put staff on the button. Stand on button. Push button. Light click pops back. Or is now closed. But there's nothing. But we can open it. Close the door. Push the button. Does the drawer change? Closed, heavy window, open door. Nothing happens, man. It'd be nice to have something productive to do with some, some item, but... Uh, the best I could think is that there's probably some combination we have to do. Like moving, having the dial go all around to a specific location. Uh, I don't think, have we seen any indication of what that could be? I mean, the best would be the book. That's where we're trying to go to. Eight small rooms. So we just went to one and no, no, no lock. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna have to ask for a hint. I'm gonna have to ask for another hint. The first one was obviously a complete waste because the button was in plain sight. The game just didn't tell us, only told us when you look at the location and not actually at the object in which the button was. But in this case, I just can't uh, navigate or go anywhere except for this prison cell with a securely fastened door. That all eight places. So the best thing I could think is maybe at some point we were given coordinates to go somewhere else. Um, anything with the warning note? Broken timber we haven't taken, but apparently we don't need it. We do have the ring, but... Um, can't do anything with it. Try experimenting with the sundial positions when I'm not inside the prison cell. All right, thanks, so. Just depressing with a slight click and popping back. I'm just going to type them all in and then push the button. No, nothing happening. <sighs> yeah, it just closes the door and then whatever. Maybe we have to do this from the north corridor? I don't know. Then we don't get the description at least of it pushing back. Maybe I can open the thing after he does it. Open the door. No. 
I can still open the door. Uh... No, now it closes again. Shit. Maybe, cause maybe it's the, what I'm trying to think of a way. Maybe the thing to do is so the door closes the first time he pushes the button, right? Is there a way we could? Um, Maybe there's a way we can travel, but without the door being closed first, because there's no way to open it again, right? That's probably maybe the thing to try. So the door is open, and now it closes. And continues to close. I haven't been inside most prison cells. You're talking about like generally or the in the game the game's prison cells. No, okay, it's still securely fastened even okay, we were able to travel, but the door closed as a result. So that's not good. Really? Because the description is the same every time. <laughs> yeah, I hope in general too. Agreed. I thought still might be rough referring like, hey, think about like the, how a prison cell works or he was talking about like something like that. I don't know. The they said the seven of the eight rooms were identical, right? They're just bare prison cells. But maybe I'm just not traveling properly or... Oh, wait a minute, I'm in room... Oh, I I did the wrong restore, that's why. Okay, um, open door. So maybe the dial isn't about determining what room you're in, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not getting any feedback here, really. Yeah, the only thing I can think, maybe it depends what the sequence, as I was saying before, it depends on the sequence. That you set them to. So it's kind of like cracking a safe or whatever, like a combination. The only thing I could think. But I don't know what the combination would be, if that's the case. Unless it's the current year, but there's no nine. I don't know, I'm not getting any different descriptions. Oh, I see what you're... Okay, thank you so much. Did we just get transported though, or not? This is this is this is really fucking weird. 
Alright, set the dial to 1. Okay, close the door. Master, push the button. So I'm guessing I'm sending it to 1. Okay, yeah, I'm sent to 1. Which is not where I want to be. Let me save here. Okay, master, set the dial to 2. Go south, close the door. Push the button. Okay. Confirming now with two. Nothing to do there. Maybe I should just start from eight and yeah, I'll work down. Maybe the door has to close for it to actually. For, yeah, I think the door closes for the direction to change. Probably that's what's going on. Yeah, I think so. So how do we get the door to close? Do we have to be... Why isn't the door closing? Oh, maybe the button has to be pushed first. Oh, so now it's 7, so if I go here, open the door, enter the cell, close the door, master, push... Button. This guy is unfucking believable Fuck, man. This is being way too, way too finicky. Way too finicky. Hey, Lando. Check out. I've actually found most of the game to be easier than the other two Zorks. Primarily because it's not, there aren't as many puzzles and... Primarily, but this is... There are a couple places where the, um... There was, like, no reason you'd ever suspect having to do something. The game didn't clue it at all, so, like... I definitely don't... I haven't enjoyed this one as much as the first two, nor do I think it's as good. It's not as interesting. And this is just ridiculous, this one. Why would you have to go through this? Okay, push the button again, please. Oh, fuck, man, come on. Transport me. I'm really getting frustrated with this. Maybe maybe the door has to close automatically for it to actually take effect. I don't I don't know. But if that's the case, how do we know what if it, how do we know? Okay, now it's closed. Okay, so maybe now I'm actually in the new place. So maybe if if the door closes while you're outside it and you open the door and then you enter the cell, then are you in the new location or not? It doesn't seem that's the case, but Still nothing. At least when I did the other way, it seemed as if I were actually going to a new location, but here it doesn't seem to be the case. See, it's just the same description. In other words, is it the room that changes, or is it the... Oh, behind you, the South Bronze door, which is closed. Oh, my God. So, in other words, you don't... You're not the one that travels. The room changes, not you. Okay, Bronze door, which is closed. Open door, or open Bronze door. Bronze door is locked. 
unlock Ron's door with key. The key molds itself to the lock but will not turn. Okay, turn the key. Can't turn that. Read the book. Okay, it's the same thing. Um, is the master still here? Maybe we need the master to push the button again. Actually, I better save. Ron's door. Master, push button. Door is now closed. Can't we still have open bronze door? Locked. We can't turn the key. Master, raise staff. Turn key. We can't turn that, okay. So we do have the key in there. Yeah, maybe, oh, maybe I just have to wait for it to, to change to the right way. Oh, come on, game. Unlock bronze door. Uh... And now it's sharp as an all. Open door. The bronze door. Why do I want to open the cell door? Okay, give me long and heavy skeleton key. Open bronze door. Uh, still locked. All right, what else do we have? Do we have the key in the... Oh, I'm still carrying... Oh, I, the key's not in the door? Come on. The bronze door, man. Can't do that. So it molds itself to the lock, but it will not turn. They don't mention anything about you taking the key back. It's just all of a sudden it's back in your inventory and it's not in the, in the lock. Really annoying. Okay, maybe if we open the cell door, maybe get them, can the, can the master follow us? What did the book say? I mean, this is this is the entrance way to the dungeon and the treasury of Zork. So we want to get this door open. The key is molding itself to the lock, but it won't turn. So the question is why not, and how do we get it to turn? Maybe the amulet or the ring, who knows? Holds itself to the lock, but will not turn. So I keep on looking short and stubby. Maybe I just, yeah, do it this way and do every description. So we did short and stubby. We Now we're doing sharp as an all. Round and thin, more like a pencil. Long and heavy skeleton key. So I guess we want shiny prongs now. Yes, here we go. Nope, did not work. Did not work. Put key and ring. Put amulet. Master, can you push the button? Let's see if you push the button again. Again. Okay, it's not changing anything. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe we want to set the dial again to a different number, and then... No, okay, that... Oh, we're in the bear prison cell. That did kind of change things? And maybe that we have the right door, so we're in the right kind of room, but maybe the room is now changing areas?
key seems to mold itself to the ship lock. With a mere twist of your hand, the massive bolt gives way. Oh, thank God. Open that door, or bronze door. On the other side of the bronze door is a narrow passage which opens out into a larger area. Please, yes, go enter bronze door. Hey, weather shalom. Drudgery of Zork. It is a large room richly appointed in a style that bespeaks exquisite taste. To judge from its contents, it is the ultimate storehouse of the wealth of the great underground empire. There are chests here containing precious jewels, mountains of Zorkmids, rare paintings, ancient statuary, and beguiling curios. On one wall is an annotated map of the empire, showing the locations of various troves of treasure and of several superior scenic views. On a desk at the far end of the room may be found stock certificates representing a controlling interest in Frobosco International, a multinational conglomerate and parent company of the Frobaz Magic Boat Company, etc. As you gleefully examine your newfound riches, the dungeon master materializes beside you and says, now that you have solved all the mysteries of the dungeon, it is time for you to assume your rightly earned place in the scheme of things. Long have I awaited for one capable of releasing me from my burden. He taps you lightly on the head with his staff, mumbling a few well-chosen spells, and you feel yourself changing, growing older and more stooped. For a moment, there are two identical mages standing among the treasure, and your counterpart dissolves into a mist and disappears a sardonic grin on his face. For a moment you are relieved, safe in the knowledge that you have at last completed your quest in Zork. You begin to feel the vast powers and lore at your command and thirst for an opportunity to use them. Your potential is seven of a possible seven in 471 moves and that will do it. After 13 hours and 47 minutes, Zork 3, the Dungeon Master, has been mastered. We made it to the Zork treasury. We unlocked the bronze door. We are the new dungeon master. We have completed the Zork trilogy. But the enchanter, sorcery, and spellbreaker trilogy awaits. And more Zork games after that. Ah, boy. The vial was an alternative solution to the mirror room. Oh, uh, I think we did use the vial there. That's the way we got past the the guardians. So the, this one definitely had a lot of red herrings, for sure. Like some rooms that we we couldn't go up that ladder or get the coal uh, or get out of room eight. Um, interesting. Could you just drink in the vial inside the mirror room instead of like operate? And all those panels, like there were excess panels we never needed. Interesting. So yeah, I don't know. I've just not, I did not like Zork 3 as much as Zork 1 or 2. It definitely seemed much more finicky and um, at least the puzzles in this one, I guess, didn't work as well with the parser. Oh, I see. I did the alternate solution, but you can use the, I did use the mirror sheen to go north and try to sneak by them, but they just ended up killing me. Okay. Ah, so I'm glad uh, it all came down to this and that's, Oh, yeah, I did, definitely did not care for that prison cell puzzle there at the end. That was very poorly described as to what was going on and the order of the mechanics that needed to take place and where you had to be. So I guess you were walking dead if you ever... if you ever pushed the button while you were inside the cell. Uh, I don't think it was, I don't think the puzzles were nearly as well designed in this one as the, uh, the prior two. Yeah. Yeah, it moved when I pressed the button, but um, I guess it has to move in a sort of a rotating way, perhaps? I'm not sure exactly how it was work. In any event, I'm happy to be done. Happy to be done uh, with that one. Well, let's head to our Hall of Adventure and add game number 118, Zork 3, the Dungeon Master, up on the shelf. Yeah, it was also a lot shorter than the first two Zorks. I mean, 